Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. For the last several days, I've just been going through some of my really old candles and getting the extra wax out of the bottom and putting them inside my wax melt warmer. And I've been able to re-enjoy fragrances that I haven't had in such a long time. So for example, this one is from Yankee Candle and this one's Crisp Apple Strudel. And this is one of my favorite Yankee scents. I'm not sure if it's available anymore, but this just makes my house smell so inviting and cozy. I'm super glad I got a few extra days from that wax. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. It's so nice to have you here. My name's Melissa, and on my channel, you'll find a range of videos. I pretty much just make random videos, whatever I feel like doing at the time. And I do hope you enjoy watching them as much as I do making them. Today's video is gonna be a complete unboxing and review of the Ipsy Glam Bag X. If you're at all interested in subscription boxes, just wait until you see what's in here. Now I've used every single thing that's included in here. So when I unbox it, I'm gonna tell you my experience with each product inside. And then at the end of the video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run some numbers and statistics and see if this box was worth it or not. So before we get started with the actual unboxing portion, I always like to give a little bit of box information. And if you know all about the Ipsy Glam Bag X, feel free to skip this part. But like I said, this is called the Ipsy Glam Bag X. This is a quarterly box coming once every three months and it costs $55. The Ipsy brand consists of three different subscription tiers and this is the largest tier that you can get. And in my opinion, it's the best. So the box that we're gonna be opening today features eight products in total. This box usually features a celebrity curator and that curator gets to personally choose five items for their box that they really get along with and enjoy using. And then you personally get to customize your box with three choice items. So Ipsy will offer you a selection of items and from that choice, you get to select your favorite product and you get to do that three times. So now that I told you a little bit about the background of the box, let's get into the unboxing. Okay guys, I always like to give you a sneak peek of what my box looks like when I first open it up. And a newspaper's cover it so you can't really see. So of course we have our product guide here and this month's curator is somebody named Madeline Pesch. And front and center is a beautiful picture of her and she's famous for being an actress on the show called Riverdale. So for the sake of time, I'm not gonna sit here and go through every single page on this product guide. But in my opinion, this is an imperative read because you learn a lot about the curator of the box. And on the pages within, you learn about every single product that's included in your box. So if you've got time, make sure you give this a good read. So the way we're gonna do this unboxing is the products I'm gonna take out of my box first and show you are the products that Madeline Pesh selected on my behalf. And then we'll get into my personal customization items at the end. So item number one in my box is from Dew of the Gods. And this is their Clay Date Pink Clay Mask. And this mask costs $42. So here's what that packaging looks like. And let me tell you, I haven't had much success with this brand with any of their products I've ever tried. But as I use this, I found out that it was actually really, really, really nice. So a neat fact about this brand is that for every single product that they produce, they have it blessed by a Buddhist monk to inspire healing from within. So here's the texture of the mask and it's a super rich and luxurious cream. And it smelled exactly like some coconut tanning oil and it contains super excellent ingredients to really give your face that nice makeover you're looking for when you do a mask like this. So the way you're supposed to use this is you apply it directly to your face, just like any other mask, and you leave it on for 10 minutes. And then as I had this mask on, it got really, really cold on my face, and then it started tingling. But it wasn't uncomfortable in any sort of way, and I actually kind of like that feeling, because when things like that happen, in my opinion, it just feels like the product's working. So after my 10 minutes were up, I found this super easy to remove with a dampened cloth, and it didn't leave any residue whatsoever. And as I looked in the mirror, I found my skin looked so bright and so fresh, and I really couldn't believe just how great this worked. Item number two in the box comes from Iconic London, and this is called the Sunset to Sunrise Eyeshadow Palette, and this costs $62. So here's what the layout looks like, and I've already had this palette in my collection for a very long time, and I really do like and enjoy it. Whenever I really wanna create a very soft sunset eye, this is my go-to palette. I find that the matte shadows in here blend very, very easily, and the metallics are very vibrant and bold. In my experience, this is one of those palettes that works for you and not against you. But I do wanna mention, I get a significant amount of kickback and fallout from this formula. So this is definitely an eyes before base type of palette. And something else that I really like about this is that it's a complete color story. 
you don't have to bring in other palettes to complete your look. It ranges from light to dark in shades. And then the ratio of mattes to non-mattes is really on point. Here's my item number three and it's from Saturday Skin. This is called the Rise and Shine Gentle Cleanser and this cost $26. So before I actually use this, I applied a basic amount of makeup because I wanted to really test its deep cleansing ability to see if it was able to remove my makeup at least. So here's what the cleanser packaging looks like. It has one of those little flip caps on it. So the way that I use this is I applied a quarter size amount to a dampened face and then I massaged it around my face for two minutes straight. And during this time it lathered really nicely. And then after that two minutes was up, I found it to rinse off very easily and it didn't leave any unwanted residue. But I do want to mention that this got into my eyes and it burned the hell out of my eyes. And I also do not have sensitive skin whatsoever, but after I rinse it off, my skin turned very red. So I wouldn't necessarily say that this is a gentle cleanser. So after my skin completely dried, my skin felt really dry and pretty tight, but I wouldn't say it was completely stripped. I generally know it's completely stripped when I'm really severely craving a hydrating moisturizer afterward, and it wasn't to that point. So I just wanted to point out if you have very sensitive skin, I would be wary of this. Item number four comes from a brand called TYS Beauty, and this is actually in collaboration with Ipsy. And this is a lip plumper costing $30. And the first thing I wanna say about this is that this is so freaking good. Not only does it look beautiful on the lips, but it definitely works. What I didn't like though, is that the directions describe the feeling as a very gentle tingle. As soon as you apply this, this burns the hell out of your lips, more so than a Too Faced lip injection. As soon as you touch the wand to your lips and start applying it, it begins burning right away. You don't even have time to apply a full coat before you start feeling that sensation. So I personally love every single thing about this. Most lip plumpers, even the Too Faced ones, aren't strong enough for me. So I can fully appreciate a formula like this. And within five flat minutes, I can tell that my lips look more full and have a bit more color added to them. So if you personally like painful lip plumpers, this is a really good one. The last item that was curated in my box is from Wonder Beauty. And this is called the Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil and this costs $42. And the first thing that I would like to say about this is that it is just so beautiful. So the way I would use something like this is apply it to my face when I'm having a no makeup day. This is literally just a dry oil. And by that, I mean an oil with no oily feeling to it. And it has really tiny, and I mean the tiniest, little teeny reflective bits of shimmer particles in it. And just to let you know, I did notice quite a bit of the natural rose scent to it. If you don't like that, stay away from this because it was enough for me to notice it. So the way that you use this is that you put two to three drops on your face and massage it in. And then when the light bounces off your face, you're met with a brilliant radiance. And you're not only limited on using this for the face too, this would look amazing on any exposed part of the body. So for your chest, your collarbones, your shoulders, anywhere that you're showing, this would look beautiful on. All right guys, so now we're gonna move into my customization items. And like I said earlier, these are the items that I picked out of a selection of products. So my first choice item comes from Pinrose, and this is called the Wild Child Fragrance, and this costs $60. So guys, whenever a fragrance choice is available, I head straight for it. I just love scented things, and I can't help myself. Here's what that bottle looks like. So I've tried several things from this brand Pinrose in the past, so I was really expecting the same quality from this that I've experienced with the other products. So as soon as I sprayed this onto my wrist, it opened up with the loudest white floral notes that I've smelled in a while, and I'm not always the biggest fan of white florals. However, as time passed and it fully dried down, the base notes of amber and bergamot finally made their appearance. When it was finally done evolving, I actually liked the fragrance that it turned out to be, and I did enjoy it. Although this is not my normal go-to fragrance, I will still get plenty of use out of this. And I did also want to mention that my husband says this smells super good on me and I should wear it more often. And I thought that was super interesting because he rarely says stuff like that about fragrance. All right guys, item two may look boring, but let me assure you, this is the least boring item in this box. This is the Vacation Ink Classic Lotion and this costs $18. So let me be honest with you here. This brand also makes a perfume with the same exact scent in it and I have been dying to try that fragrance forever. So when I saw that they had the Classic Lotion available on Ipsy, I picked this solely for the scent 
So this is also an SPF 30 and I really don't care about the SPF. That's not what I'm using it for. I'm solely using this for the fragrance aspect. And let me tell you, this fragrance is more than I can ever convey through video to you. It is the absolute perfect beach smell all configured into one bottle. No company has ever nailed it quite like this. And I feel like I'm living my full summer fantasy just by applying this. The only bad thing is now that I'm just dying to have the perfume more because I was finally able to dip my toe into this remarkable scent line. And the last item in my box comes from Starface World. And these are called the Hydro Stars and they cost $15. I personally love using Hydro Colloid patches and I think this is such a fun way to do it. So to be completely honest with you, I didn't have any new fresh emerging breakouts to actually test its effectiveness. But from my experience, I'm assuming all Hydro Colloid patches work almost the same way. So I love that these come in a hard shell transportable case and it's packed full with patches in here. And it also comes handy with a nice mirror inside. So if you have this in your bag and you need to immediately apply one, you can just quickly take this out, look in the mirror and put it wherever you need to. So this pack only contains their traditional branded shape of stars and there's only one size included. I do want to mention the quality of these though. The quality of the actual stars feels really nice. It feels almost like a vinyl and not like it's going to easily rip and tear. And the adhesive isn't overdone. It feels just the perfect amount of sticky so it's able to remain in place on your face. And I did test one upon my face to see if I would experience any odd reaction. And I did not experience any irritation from any of its ingredients or its adhesive. So now it's time to get into my favorite and my least favorite products. So for my favorite product, this is not hard. This is my favorite product. I am so excited for this. I've probably used it about three times today. This is simply amazing and makes the entire box for me. I am so glad that I got this in here and I was finally able to sample this fragrance. It is just everything that I hoped it would be and more. As for least favorite product, I kind of like every single thing in here, but as far as the thing that I was least excited about, I would have to say the Saturday Skin Cleanser. This is the only product in this box that I kind of had a semi reaction to. And normally I don't have reactive, irritable skin whatsoever. So the fact that it turned my skin red, something's up with it and I have no idea what happened there. All right guys, before we get started on the second half of this video, I wanted to add in a little special segment. So as I stated earlier, I already have the iconic London palette in my collection. So I wanted to give one of you guys this new one that I got. And I'll also put in a few fun extra things inside of a mystery box and have it shipped out to you. So if you're interested in entering this giveaway, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and then simply just leave a comment down below with the hashtag winner. And the reason why you gotta put that hashtag is so that I know you're interested in entering the giveaway. So for this particular giveaway, it's only open to the lower 48 United States only, and it will continue on for two weeks until May 25th, 2022. And if you happen to be the winner, I will personally get in touch with you. Also, please be aware there's an abnormal amount of YouTube scammers and they create fake profiles and attempt to collect your payment information during giveaways. So just know, I personally will never, ever, ever ask you for any money or payment information to ship something to you. So with that being said, let's roll right into part two of this video, which is my overall experience and let's run some numbers. Shipping. Shipping was good. My box arrived on May 9th and I do like to get my boxes on or prior to the 20th. So that was great. And I do want to mention there was no damage to my box or any of its included contents. Next topic is product balance. I personally think this box was really well balanced. According to my observations, we got three makeup, three skincare and two fragrance products. And I personally really like a makeup heavy box or it has to be well balanced. I did achieve an 89% brand familiarity rate with this box. So that means out of everything that I've received, I recognize 89% of the brands in here. My calculated box value was $295. Ipsy markets the Glam Bag X at having an average value of $395. So my box was a $100 below average. My percent value savings was 81%. So that means just by subscribing to this box, I saved 81% of my money vice buying all these products individually. Product value. I calculated this to be $6.88 per item. And for this particular category, what I like to do is I like to look through my box 
and try to gauge if everything in my box has a $6.88 minimum value. And as I look through everything, to me, I think everything does hold that value. So for this next category, I call it product availability and I like to look at where the products in our box are sourced from. So one product in my box comes from luxury stores. One item in my box comes from niche makeup stores and that's like Sephora and Ulta. Four items in my box come from mass retailers and that's like Amazon and Walmart. And two items in my box come from independent brand websites. So for this category, I really like to see more niche makeup stores and luxury products more than independent websites and mass retailer products. And in the case for this box, I'm not really seeing that. So for the overall box rating, I rated this an eight out of 10. And this rating is based on my experience as a whole, not on the product's performance. So I just wanna say that this box truly surprised me. As I was curating my choice products, to be honest, this just didn't look like it was gonna be one of my favorite ever boxes. But finally getting the products in hand and getting to test each individual one out, I'll tell you, it was a completely different experience. I really found some things that I'm gonna incorporate into my routine. And I also got to try a product that I've been wanting to try forever. So overall, I'm really, really happy and I'm satisfied with all the selections in the box. So now it's your turn. Comment below about which products sounded the best to you or the most exciting. And if you've ever been using any of these products in your routine long term, I would love to hear your experience with them. And before I go, I always like to leave on this note. Please do your best to recycle or reuse your box and all your shipping materials. And don't forget to enter the giveaway. And that's all I have for you guys today. So if you did like this video, please give me a giant thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, just hit that thumbs down button. And until next time,